hey there everyone Ramesh here welcome back with another video in this video we are going to learn how to deploy Spring Boot MUC web application on AWS using Elastic Beanstalk service in previous video we have created a simple Spring Boot REST API application and we have deployed it on AWS using Elastic Beanstalk service in this video we are going to look into how to create a simple Spring MUC application using Spring Boot and we'll deploy Spring Boot MUC application on AWS using Elastic Boomstack service. We're going to use Thymblip as a view layer and uh, yeah so we'll package our Spring Boot MUC application as a jar file which has a embedded Tomcat server and that jar file will deploy on AWS using Elastic Boomstack service. All right, so look at here, uh, consider this is the cloud and uh, we'll deploy Spring Boot web app dot jar. So this is the jar artifact that we are going to deploy on AWS so that it will accessible to all the users across the internet. Okay, let's take a look into AWS Elastic Beanstalk service. So Elastic Beanstalk service will provide all the resources on AWS uh, that required to run our applications. For example, Elastic Beanstalk service will create EC2 instance behind the scene and it will you know install Java or Tomcat based on the application or the platform we chosen and it will store a jar file or war file that we upload in Elastic Beanstalk on S3 server and there is a one more component or one more service AWS Elastic Load Balancer so this will redirect our application on particular port all right so if we don't use elastic bin stack service then we need to do manually all the stuff like we need to first create ec2 instance and on top of ec2 instance we need to install java or tomcat all right and we need to create a bucket in s3 service uh, to store the jar or var file and we need to configure aws elastic load balancer etc so if we don't use elastic build stack service then we need to manually do all these steps okay but elastic build stack service will provide all these resources uh, to run our application on aws cloud okay i hope we understood how the elastic build stack service works and here is the development process first we're going to create spring boot application and then we build a simple uh, you know controller uh, with a time leap hello world page and then we'll package our spring boot MUC application as a jar file using maven and this jar file already contains uh, you know embedded tomcat server so yeah so after that we'll create a new application in elastic mill stack and then we'll upload our jar file into elastic mill stack so we no need to you know uh, deploy our application on external tomcat server because Spring Boot provides an embedded default Tomcat server so that we can you know run our Spring Boot application as a standalone that is by using java-jar command from the command line tool. Let's see how to do it. So let's begin by creating Spring Boot application in Eclipse STS ID. I am in Eclipse STS ID. Go to the file new and then choose Spring Starter Project. And this is a Spring, Spring Initializer website which is integrated in Spring Tools with ID. So we can use Spring Initializer to quickly create and bootstrap Spring based projects. So let's give name like Spring Boot uh, Web App AWS example something like this. And choose type as a Maven and packaging as a jar and Java version 8 language Java. So you can choose packaging as a jar or war but I am going to keep as a jar because we are going to run our jar file and this jar file will contain embedded tomcat server. Alright group id net dot java guides you can do any group id that you want and artifact id is same as project name and then version and description alright let's change the package name like net dot java guides dot spring boot 
something like this once you are happy with the details click on next and here keep spring boot version 2.4.3 so this is the latest and stable version of spring boot as of now and this is recommended by spring boot team so let's keep this one as it is and here we're going to use uh, two dependencies one is spring web dependency because we are going to create a simple spring mc controller which will return a time leap view so let's choose a time leap uh, starter dependency so these two dependencies are enough to create a simple spring boot mc application all right hit finish we have created a spring boot application in eclipse sts id now let's go ahead and let's quickly create a Spring MSA controller. Controller, right click new and choose class. And let's give controller name as Hello World Controller. And let's quickly create a method handler in our controller. So let's annotate first this controller with at the rate controller annotation. and let's quickly create a method handler here public and return type of the method is string and then let's say hello is the method name and let's annotate this method with at the rate get mapping annotation and let's let's add a url here let's say hello and we're gonna pass a message to the view that is time leap template for that we're going to use a model so let's pass a model to the method so make sure that you choose a model from you know org.spring.ui package and up to that we're going to simply add a data to the model let's use add attribute and key as a message and value as deploying spring mc app on aws something like this and just return a view name let's say hello world pretty simple and let's copy this view name and go to the resources folder and under resources folder we have templates folder right click on templates folder new and then choose other and just type html and select html file here and just give file name as hello world.html pretty simple and just provide a title here uh, that is something like spring boot time leaf time leap app deploy on deployment on aws something like this and in the body we just print a message that we have added to the model in a controller so this message we are going to print on timelip template let's use a timelip attribute that is th colon text here and just add the message dollar so this is the syntax to access the uh, variable using time leap message and this message basically we get from the controller so here we have added message to the model right so this message we are going to just printing here you know hello world view template it's pretty simple isn't it and what we'll do we'll run our spring boot application quickly and let us test from the local first all right our spring boot application is up and running uh, on embedded tomcat server on port 8080 let's head over to the browser and let's quickly access this access this application let's type localhost 8080 slash hello and hit enter and here we go deploying spring mc app on aws we have successfully printed message on a web page so basically there are two methods to change the port so elastic beanstalk service assumes that our spring boot application is running on port 5000 
so we can change the port of our spring boot application so by default spring boot application i will run on embedded tomcat server on port 8080 right but elastic beanstalk service assumes that our spring boot application is running on port 5000 so we can go ahead and we can change the port using the property server dot port equals to 5000 like this so this is the first method in second method we can directly change uh, the port in elastic beanstalk itself so this second method i have shown you uh, in previous video that is we can change the port of our spring boot application that is 8080 to 5000 in elastic beanstalk service itself so in this video let's uh, let's change the port in spring boot application itself okay now what we'll do we'll package our spring boot application as a jar file and we will deploy it on aws now let's go ahead and let's build our spring boot application using maven before that go to the form.xml and go to the build section and here we need to provide a final name to the build that is spring boot web app aws example when we build our spring boot application using maven then this is the name of the jar file well right click on the project run as maven build and here we need to specify the goal clean install and skip test here and jre and alternative jre uh, choose jdk here apply and run okay perfect now just refresh the project right click refresh and go to the target folder and look at here a jar file is generated now what we'll do we'll head over to the aws console and we'll move to elastic build stack and we create application over there and we upload this jar file on elastic build stack and yeah we can access this application from the browser well let's go to the browser and let's log into aws console so in a browser just type aws.amazon.com and hit enter so we are going to use amazon you know free developer uh, tier account all right so before login to amazon aws console you first need to create an account uh, in aws so you can go ahead and you can create a free tier uh, developer account once you get a credential then you can just type aws.amazon.com and you can go to you can click on sign in to console button here all right and and use the root user and then enter the email id and then password and sign in to aws console so once you log in to the aws console you can able to see here a lot of aws services so there are around 90 plus services aws provides for different purposes so we are going to focus on elastic build stack so under computer category click on uh, elastic build stack service this will head over to elastic build stack home page and here you can see uh, aws elastic build stack is an easy to use service for deploying and scaling web applications and services deployed with java dotnet php python etc so here you can see a create application you can go ahead and click and create application and here we can provide application name as the jar file name so jar file name is spring boot web app aws example right so this is the jar file and the name is spring boot web app aws example so you can give a same name uh, to elastic beanstalk application and then here we have application tags so you can provide application tags to just uh, you know uh, to group and filter your resources but uh, timing i don't add tags and here we need to choose a platform here we need to choose a java here so look at here we have a tomcat option if you are going to deploy a uh, war file then choose the tomcat but we are going to run a jar file using java command uh, from the command line tool so we're going to use java and then here we're going to use java 8 as a platform branch and keep 
platform version recommended as it is and here we are going to upload a jar file so let's choose second option that is upload your code let's choose file here and head over to the jar file location and select jar file so jar file successfully uploaded and here we can see here comping more options so we can if you want to configure a database and other secure related stuff then you can go ahead and you can choose a more options here but this is a very simple application we are deploying so we are not going to, going to configure anything here just click click on create application so elastic Beanstalk will create an environment uh, for deploying this application so basically elastic Beanstalk will create a ec2 instance and then it will create a bucket i mean uh, bucket in s3 server and it will upload a jar file in the bucket as an object so if we use elastic Beanstalk service then we don't have to create a ec2 instance or need to upload uh, objects in a bucket s3 bucket server so elastic Beanstalk service will take care of all the required steps in order to deploy the application as a developer we just need to upload the jar file that's it so look at here behind the scene it has created a bucket with this name so let's go ahead and let's explore let me just copy this uh, bucket name and what we will do we will head over to the s3 storage go to the services here and this is the s3 server right click on it and open in a new tab and and you can see here a bucket is created if you search here so elastic Beanstalk service has a behind the scene created this bucket for us and it has uploaded a jar file spring boot aws spring boot web app aws example jar file so we no need to create a bucket in aws server and we no need to manually upload the jar file elastic Beanstalk service will take care of it so let's again go back to the log log uh, uh, log statements here elastic Beanstalk service also created a ec2 instance so, so let me just quickly see the instance id okay this is the instance id let me also show you the ec2 instance uh, which is created by elastic Beanstalk behind the scene go to the compute section right click and open ec2 instance service in a new tab and go to the instances running and here you can able to see here 946 is the instance which is running upon and 946 okay so this is the instance ec2 instance all right guys so elastic Beanstalk service will uh, create a ec2 instance and uh, uh, it will create a uh, bucket in s3 server and upload the jar file okay it will take care of all the steps we don't need to create you know manually all these steps so right now it is creating an environment and it is deploying so let's wait a couple of seconds so after some time the health becomes gray and uh, here is the url just click on it uh, the page is open but here we need to provide the url slash hello and hit enter and here we go deploying spring mvc app on aws is printed successfully on a web page it means that guys we have successfully deployed our spring boot mvc application on aws all right so just follow these steps you can able to easily uh, you know deploy spring boot application on aws it's very simple guys using elastic Beanstalk service you can deploy uh, spring boot applications on aws very easily i hope you understood the steps let me know if you have any queries in the uh, below comment section so that i will uh, try to help you to resolve your queries thanks guys thanks for watching i will see you in the next video